and hello and welcome back to another episode of Great Lakes Post live stream. I'm Casey Campbell. Thank you for tuning in. We have a very special guest today. Let's see who it is. It's Ryan oh, Rocco from Venturini Motorsports. Um, we'll be driving the number 20 uh, Toyota um, for Venturini in this Saturday's ARCA race on at 1 p.m. on FS1. Hi, Ryan. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for having me on. Doing good. Uh, of course, we talked to you, if you watched the video cast from a few months ago, Ryan was one of my first guests, and I'm proud to have him back on this as well. Well, um, you did go back racing uh, last Saturday at Toledo. It was not the best. Talk about your day. Um, I mean, that's just kind of a result of the, the box we're put in with what's going on with the whole COVID-19. We don't, we don't get practice, you know, so... Um, we only, I only got about 27 laps of practice on that track. So um, it was um, definitely a challenge for sure, getting the car set up and me with my feedback, you know, getting back in the swing of things. So I hadn't been on a short track in eight months. So, I mean, it was tough, but I mean, there at the end, we were able to put ourselves in a good position um, being in fourth, but it just um, didn't pan out the way we hoped it would. Um, talk about, you know, this, this weekend at Talladega. What's that going to be like for you? Um, so from what I'm hearing, we're only going to have about five laps before we roll out for the race. So it's going to be definitely a challenge, but I don't think it's going to be quite as tough as Toledo just because, um, I ran the Daytona Arca race fairly recently, you know, that was back in February of this year. So, um, it ought to be not quite as steep of a learning curve, but I mean, it'll still be a little bit of a challenge. Um, but still a lot of competitive cars going and I'm really thankful for the opportunity to work with Venerini Motorsports and uh, be a part of the Toyota racing development group. And uh, what have you always liked about super speedway racing? Um, it's, it's just, it's its own breed of racing. Like it's, there's nothing really else quite like it. Um, I mean, it's just tight. It's always close. Like, you know, a lot of times on other tracks, it gets kind of spread out. And, and on a super speedway race, you never really see that. There's never really a lack of action in any super speedway race. Yeah. All right. We'll have more with Ryan after this. Is your money not sure what to do with itself? At Ally, we'll help it save for the future with our smart savings tools. For all things money, you deserve an Ally. And we're back. Ryan Rebco joins us. Ah, that's a little better. Um, talk about how you got your start into racing. Well, um, so it's actually kind of just kind of a certain events just played into my favor. So we'd actually heard of a, a new go-kart track that was kind of opening up on the radio. And uh, we went and, and it was one of these places where you pay like 15 bucks and you get to drive their rental carts. And, um, you know, they had like league races and I started doing those, you know, very, you know, low cost, low risk racing. And that's when I kind of met some people that um, were into quarter midget racing. So we ended up, we wanted to take it up a step. We bought our own car and kind of started our own team and got into that. And um, within four years of doing that, I'd won 115 races and 20 different championships across the Southeast and um, country. So it's, it, we wanted to keep going, you know. So then we, we got into late models and then some ARCA stuff. And then I've, I've run a couple of Xfinity races too. And um, I'm running ARCA for Venerini this season. So, I mean, it, it just kind of – it's almost like a snowball effect, you know. Like um, when I was successful at one level, opportunities would open up the next to um, kind of continue my career. Yeah. Um, talk about your you, – you went to Venerini. I know you did some um, Xfinity stuff last year. But talk about the opportunity that you have this year with the Venturini team. Oh, well, it's, it's an incredible opportunity just because um, 
you know, I don't think there's any other race team in the ARCA series that has even close to the win percentages that they have. And, um, you know, just the experience that's surrounded by me, you know, when you surround yourself with good people, you know, good things happen. And, um, and the opportunity with Toyota as well, just the resources they have with the Toyota performance center, the, um, the gym where I'm able to just better myself and make sure I'm physically ready for these races. And, um, there's simulator where I can hop on to any sort of racetrack and go ahead and just start preparing to get ready to go for that. And it's just, it's a great opportunity just to have that many resources and good people surrounding me. Yeah. And that's all open now, I think, right? Um, we've been kind of having to do so because of the COVID deal, we've had to kind of do workouts on our own actually. So we've been doing them at like parks and stuff like, um, and and what happens is they send us kind of our workouts and then we do them and, you know, we communicate back and forth about how well it's going. So, um, it's COVID-19 has definitely presented its challenges. Yeah. Coming up, we'll talk, uh, we'll talk more with Ryan, including what he thinks about his chances at Talladega. What is this thing? A rock soar. Ain't no turn signals. No traffic where this goes. Ain't no plastic. Nope. Box steel frame, too. Woo-wee! That's pretty. No nav TV screen. It's up there. Ain't got no license plate. Ain't street legal. That's the best part. If you're looking for unmatched capability and industrial strength durability, it all starts here for under 16 grand. Ain't no toy, huh? Nope. <laughs> And we're back. Ryan Rebko joins us. Um, so you're also a student at uh, UNC UNC Charlotte, if I'm correct. Uh, yes, sir. That's right. So what's that been like? Um, you know, I really like the school and the atmosphere here. It's it's just a nice place to go to college. But um, even with that, you know, COVID nineteen has uh, caused us to not be able to do in school stuff you know we've we had to switch to online at the very end but um you know i'm looking forward to being able to once we get all this virus stuff out of the way and you know we get a vaccine or whatever whatever sort of thing has to happen for us to get back to normal i'm looking forward to you know um just being able to resume like normal here because this is a really awesome place to go to college yeah um what do you like to do you know outside of racing um, I mean, I take my physical, uh, fitness really seriously. Like I try to eat healthy and I work out a lot and run, and, um, and just really try to take care of myself. And, and that kind of plays into the racing a little bit just because, um, you know, I, I, you don't see me on a hot day. Like I don't fall out of the seat as they say, like I normally, um, am pretty good about staying hydrated and being healthy enough to compete in these races. Yeah. Also, you know, coming into this this race at Talladega, what, what do you think you have to do to get it done, um, on Saturday afternoon? Man, I mean, it's, that's just one of those races where, um, you know, you got to keep the car clean, but you also got to be aggressive at the same time and be able to capitalize on others' mistakes and try to work your way to the front. I mean, Daytona was going well until we just had some bad luck after we pitted. Um, I think we got up to like seventh. So, I mean, we had a really good car. It was just, kind of one of those unlucky situations so i need a whole lot of luck i know that much but um it'll just it'll just come out situations play in my favor yeah all right i want to thank you for coming on the show today and uh, good luck on saturday at talladega and you can watch that race at 1 p.m on fs1 i appreciate it thank you and thank you all for joining us today on this great lakes post live stream i'm casey campbell we'll see you next time